Hi, Deshu Priyo. So in this video, I want to talk directly to the bankers out there. So anybody who's right now working in a bank, they can definitely use this advice. And uh, this message that I want to put out, it's basically directed uh, as the uh, SBI Junior Associates. So many people they have uh, joined as SBI Junior Associates uh, very recently, and many more are going to be joining. And essentially, this is uh, advice directed to all the clerical staff. So all the people who are uh, employed as various uh, clerks in different public sector banks, all of them can definitely use this advice. And uh, this type of advice, I don't think you are going to get anywhere because only after working in a bank for a while, you're going to learn about these things. So uh, if you uh, are wanting to get a bank job, then this uh, advice, it's certainly going to help you in the future. Uh, I definitely hope so. So let us begin and we are going to talk about seven things today that you should remember. So let us start with the first thing. Now I know that this first advice, it should be common sense, but unfortunately common sense is not that common. So I have seen in different branches where I have worked that the people who are uh, maintaining the SWO counters, the single window operators. So many of them, they always direct the people that uh, whenever a customer comes to them, they would say, go to counter number five or go to counter number seven, something like that. So they direct those people to the managers. And that is how they try to lessen their workload. But the thing that you have to remember is that whenever you are working, in a bank you are sitting in that chair your main responsibility is to actually help these people and ultimately it is you who has to get that work done so even if you direct that person right now to counter number five which is uh, often done in each and every single branch you can direct of course nobody is stopping you and the person in front of you that person is of course going to go uh, but but remember Sometimes I really felt very bad when I saw old people, people who came to the branch from a long distance and they were treated like that. So I want to say that if you are a new, a young person who has joined the bank currently and you are doing these things which have been done for ages, then it's not right. You know, ultimately you have to do the work. So if you send that person away to a different counter and uh, then he gets some other information, he fills some forms and then he comes back to you, ultimately the job has to be done by you, right? So even if you temporarily escape your work because you are sending that person somewhere else, later on that work is going to come back to you. So this is the aspect that I don't understand. Why send that person away? When that person has come to you, just see if you can help him or you can help her and try to get that work done immediately. So don't direct people to a different desk, to a different uh, section of the branch and try to get the work done. Because once you start doing these things, you will find a lot of inner satisfaction as well. And the amount of respect that you're going to get from everybody. So that is really something that you cannot really judge just by not doing these things. So. I, I just want to say that go ahead and solve people's problems because you are there to solve people's problems. You are there to provide service. So don't direct people here and there. Try to listen to them and finish off their work. This second thing is very, very important. And I feel that most people, they don't understand the value of it. You have to be very, very accountable for each and every single thing that you do. So whenever any kind of task is assigned to you, make sure that you understand how that task is done. I have seen this in various branches that uh, the officers would be given some kind of a work to the clerical staff and then they would start that job and maybe at the end of the day, they would give in the work and when you got that work, you saw that it was half done or they didn't understand. So if you don't understand something, immediately go and ask what the thing has to be done, like what are the details of those things. So be accountable for each and every single thing that you do. So whatever task is given to you, the person is giving you because they trust you, right? And you have to honor that trust. So this is something that is not really uh, something that most people understand that whenever the work is given, you have to take ownership of that work. So you have to be somebody who is reliable, 
understand this because if you are not reliable then what happens is the trust that you have from your officers that is going to be totally eroded so if your branch manager gives you some kind of a task you should uh, ensure that you are doing it fully and you are not uh, just you know haphazardly doing it or you are carelessly doing it don't do the task just because it has to be done take some ownership you know make it yours and do it diligently because i feel that if you respect your work if you have self respect about that and uh, whatever task is given to you if you do it 100% then it comes back to you always and people are going to respect you because then you can tell people no i already have this task i am doing it so it don't give me any other tasks so that is also something that's going to help you out in the longer run so always ensure that you are accountable that whatever task you are taking you own that task and you complete that without any errors so that is something that you should always remember i cannot tell you how important this single thing is you have to be very very friendly with each and every sub staff under you so all the staffs all the messengers all the peons uh, the people who are carrying the files who are serving you tea so get to know them very very well and this is not just because your work is going to be easy no that's not the only reason so they will also help you out of the branch so if you are especially posted in a rural area in a semi uh, urban kind of an area then if you are friendly with the messengers they uh, live in that place for many decades maybe so they know each and every single thing about that place so try to use that knowledge if you are good friends with them then they will tell you about all the great hangout places they will tell you where you should get whatever and you should also uh, get to know them because you are going to get some good accommodation as well they'll give you the sources for good accommodation so whenever you have to hunt for places to stay they are also always going to be beside you and it's going to be very simple you know it's it's simple things it's small things that nobody tells you so in various branches what i would do is i would go with the messengers so sometimes we would go outside and i would i would just go with them in the evening maybe buy them some snacks or something and just tell them you know Uh, just enjoy and sometimes you can even give them some money uh, now don't uh, give them like suddenly some kind of money they would feel very offended or something so you have to be subtle about it so sometimes you can give them gifts on their birthday so uh, learn their birthday you can give them gifts that is something that always helps out and uh, maybe some of your messengers might be uh, into cigarettes or something so you can uh, give them a smoke and <laughs> that's something that you know i personally don't smoke but uh, if that person is smoking uh, if i can make his job a little bit easier then you know it's going to help out this relationship so do whatever is necessary to build that relationship and then when you have that relationship built you'll see so many things become so easier so sometimes it might happen that uh, one of your vouchers get stuck and uh, you are not able to uh, you know finish that in the evening so you can call that messenger you can tell that okay i'm having this problem and because you already have that relationship built with that person so you can Uh, tell him or her to do something you know very uh, very quickly or on a priority basis and they are going to help you out so it has to be two way street like it can't be only one way i know they are under you they are supposed to report to you but if you are uh, somebody who is their friend who is very close to them then believe me this is something that is going to help you out so always remember make good friends with your messengers this fourth aspect is very very significant you have to understand who is the person who is driving the branch understand this whenever you are working in any branch you know it might be in sbi it might be in any kind of public sector bank wherever it is you will find as uh, lots of clerical staff are working there might be some people who are having a lot of influence in that branch find out who those people are and make good friends with those people win the favor of those people because if you are in the good books of those people then you are going to get lots and lots of good things which are not actually something that everybody gets so understand this aspect what i used to do it do is uh, that sometimes i would go to the branch early in the morning and uh, when you go early in the morning uh, you know there's no crowd and nothing so you can have some chit chat with those people so maybe with the head cashier say for example if he or she is the is the person who is uh, at the top of the food chain and remember every branch has a food chain so you have to understand it's not the branch manager always who sits at the top so the branch manager of course everybody respects the branch manager and everything but there are people
people who are actually much much more significant in the branch and you can identify these people usually they are uh, a little bit older so what you can do is you can bring some food and share with them and you can talk about their daughters or sons or whatever it is you know family stuff because they are older people so sometimes the uh, the personality it doesn't actually gel with you but uh, you can talk about uh, what their sons or daughters are doing what is happening at home and you can just be friendly with those people so if you are friendly with them then you will find that later on they are going to stand up for you whenever you are faced with a very difficult situation you can always go to that person and because that person is a veteran they are always going to uh, give you the best advice the most innovative advice and they can always make your life a lot easier so make good friends with these people and you'll see the magic it's going to happen now this aspect is something that is quite overlooked and uh, people don't really understand that a branch manager you also have to manage the branch manager so of course the bm is going to manage you but indirectly you have to manage that person as well so don't listen to whatever the bm is saying understand this aspect sometimes the branch managers they might tell you oh why are you uh, leaving so early you know stay a little bit uh, you are young you have so much time on your hands so help us out and you have to be very tactful about it you have to tell the branch manager that you have some housework or maybe you know create some kind of an emergency at home and then tell that person no i can't stay or something like that and another thing which is quite quite interesting here is that uh, in the mornings of course when you go to the branch you are going to wish the branch manager good morning all the clerical staff they do but when you are going out of the branch it's not necessary to say good night or good evening or whatever it is you know good night sir it's not required because this is quite interesting because when you show your face to your branch manager then the branch manager gets those ideas that okay uh, this person is there he might be free so let me give some work so it's not really necessary and now i know that this is a <laughs> little bit uh, <laughs> on the like, like it's not always ethical to say these things but i'll tell you that this is something that you can try you don't have to say good night all the time finish off your work do everything that has been given to you and then then go out you no know? you don't have to talk to your branch manager and uh, like i said in the last point there is somebody who is at the top of the food chain in the branch so always tell that person that you are going home if you see that person if you don't see then it's okay but if you see that person on the way of going out of the branch then you always have to say to that person that i am going home and that person is not going to object because that person is also a clerical staff so he or she is also getting ready to go home so understand this aspect and uh, there's also a little bit of a dynamic like between officers and clerical staff you can't have like similarities like don't be in a situation where your branch manager is becoming too close to you understand this i have seen many branch managers they would try to get very close to you and then they are going to give you lot more work and at that point of time because of the personal bond that has been created it's very difficult to say no and <laughs> i know like maybe lots of people are going to be angry at me for uh, revealing all of these things but uh, yeah lots of branch managers will try to do that they will try to somehow be very close to you so don't fall into that trap have a distance because remember you are in a workplace it's not friendships it's a workplace remember that and uh, they they shouldn't be like people will say okay you are my family uh, this is like a family our branch is like a family etc etc remember that is not true that is something that has to be said it's not a family it's your workplace your family are the people who are at your home waiting for you to get back home those are your family the branch is not your family that's just your workplace so you have to have that distinction manage the branch manager well keep a little bit distance always respect your branch manager i'm not saying that you shouldn't have respect you should always have respect always treat him with respect but also keep a distance and only do whatever is required nothing more remember that this sixth aspect is something that lot of clerical staff they don't understand they often compromise with their time and especially if you are a young clerical staff then it does happen a lot to you people expect a lot from you and sometimes you have to stay beyond your official hours but remember you are entitled to get overtime if you are staying beyond your office hours so remember that that aspect very very well because you are not getting paid same as the officers are and i know that some officers are going to be angry when i'm saying these things but this is the fact if your timing is from 10 am to 5 pm 
and then you are working till seven or eight or something like that, then you are a fool. Yeah, you are a fool. Why are you working so late? And I know some people are going to say, okay, I am in a single officer branch. There's only one branch manager and I am there. But okay, that's fine. That's the problem of the bank. That is not your problem. Understand this. You have to structure your time well. You should not compromise with your time. From 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. you're working. That's a solid work hour. So you are not at all, you know, just uh, wasting your time during that time. So if you are not wasting your time, then your time is very, very important for you. So after 5 p.m., wrap up your work and then go home. By 6 o'clock, you should be in your home. You shouldn't be in your branch. So understand this aspect. Always honor your time. If you yourself do not honor your time, then nobody else is going to honor it. Understand this, that whenever I am working extra, I have to get OT. So you have to write down in the OT register that you have worked extra and you have to demand that OT payment. So remember this and it shouldn't be that every single day you are uh, just uh, extending and then you are getting OT or something. No, that is harming your personal life as well. So have that distinction. Your personal life is also quite important. So honor your time and don't waste your time. This is quite important. Finish off your work and then at the end of the day, wrap everything up. The, the work in the bank, it's never going to be over. So remember this thing, you know, you might have stacks of papers on your desk. It doesn't matter. You're going to do it the next day. Finish it off and then just head home. The final thing to remember is the power of the union. So you have lots of unions, you have the UFPU, you have the different kinds of uh, associations that you uh, have over there. So remember that you have to be very, very conversant about the rules. And there's always a local secretary at your branch. So get to know that person and whatever grievances you have, you should always tell that person. Don't take anything lying down. And I know these days what's happening is that uh, many of the uh, clerical staff, they are getting forced to sell the, you know, the cross-selling stuff. So you are going to be told to become a safe and you're going to be uh, told a little bit forced to sell those things. But you have to be a little bit firm. You have to talk to the union if there's too much pressure that is being applied to you. You have to somehow withstand that pressure. And the best person to help you is your local secretary and also the association people. And if you are on very good terms with these people, then you are also going to get lots of favors. And uh, I know it kind of sucks to say these things, but yeah, this is the truth that uh, people who are active in the unions, they get the best postings, they get the best branches, they get like all the best amenities and everything that's possible and it's just because they are in the association playing a vital role in the association so get to know these people and if you can attend their meetings or if you can play an active role then definitely do it i know as a young employee you don't sometimes feel that you should do these things but believe me for your survival you do need the association and the association is going to help you and especially the clerical association is much more stronger than the officers association and that's a fact so if you are facing any kind of problems your branch manager is not doing the right things then you can always complain to the association and they are going to take care of it they are going to make your life a lot easier and uh, with this i think let's wrap up this video so these are very unconventional seven points that i told you let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of these kinds of videos and if you want similar tips for the probationary officers and maybe you know in the future i can make something about my mistakes as well because i made lots of mistakes at the start of my career and i <laughs> regretted lots of those things but yeah it was a learning experience so i hope that you learn something from this video and that it was beneficial to you if you liked it please click on the like button and share it with your friends and if you want to see more of this kind of content please click on the subscribe button and do not forget to click the bell icon so that you my friend do not miss any future update i'll see you in the next video bye bye